What's up gang? Today we are going to be looking at a Delta Strike laser tag phaser and actually phaser and vest. They are connected. Uh, having a little bit of problems with this one. It will shut down in the middle of the game or just will decide not to join the game and you can't shoot or be shot. So it's basically like you're running around and not playing. So I know what to do to fix it. I'm going to show you how to do it and give you the detailed instructions like I normally do and kind of show you what it says in the manual. And, and the manual says take out the board and put in the new one. <laughs> so I'll explain that a little bit better. Stay tuned. I'm Walter Day, the father of eSports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. And you know how long it's been I've been stuck playing black hole? Ready to attack, fanny pack attached, tokens are all stacked, got the mallet in my grasp, waiting for the moles, ha, hiding in their holes, score we're keeping tally, I'll be playing till they close now, can't nobody beat my high score, you can't beat my high score, can't nobody beat my high score, you can't High school. I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster. You can ask my baby, it starts slow, then gets faster. I'm a record setter. My... Okay, let me find the best spot to situate us so that I can still move around. So I already removed the screws from this guy. No point showing that in every video that I do. Okay, now I want to get real close on this. So the centerpiece here is, is the main board. Uh, the first thing you want to do is on this side of the gun, you want to use your key and turn it off. All you do is you put it in sideways, turn it up so that it's straight up and down. Quarter of a turn, everything goes off. And then you want to remove all these connectors from the sides and then we're going to have to snip this uh, zip tie and this is the Wi-Fi antenna we'll have to unplug that it's pretty easy uh, let me see I got the vest kind of in the way over here but they're attached so there's not much I can do I want to get right up on this guy so you can see where this stuff goes okay that's pretty good there might even be able to bring it down a little bit. Sorry, I'm just doing this for the best view possible so you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, let's start over here on this right side. <laughs> the gun did that on its own. Okay, so this top one, it says optics. The optics just go to this guy over here. So if you can remember that, that top one just goes straight across to the right. Then we have laser is next, which goes to the bottom part of this assembly here. And then we have the speaker, which the speaker is here, so you can follow that around. I'm telling you where this stuff goes, just so if you get in here and you take all this stuff off and you don't remember, kind of, uh, I mean, it is labeled, but if I explain it, I, I feel like maybe you'll know a little bit better. Hold comes to this little board right here. And then B1 and B2 are the buttons that are on this side. And you got one and two labeled there. So it's easy to find that when you get to it. Okay, and then on this side we have, say, the LCD, which is obviously the LCD screen here. And we have the back speaker, which is right here. Pretty easy to find. Um, we have the vest and the targets, which are, they're both basically in the vest. And that's this group of wiring that comes down into the harness here. And key is that spot that I was telling you about right there, which is right here inside the gun. And we have, looks like CHG, which I assume is charge, um, it's not actually plugged in through that way. Maybe that was a, an old option or a new one to come. And VIB is your vibrator. And your vibrator is right here. But don't try to take that home and give it to your wife. She's not going to be happy with that. So now that we know what everything is, where everything plugs in at, let's go ahead and take off this Wi-Fi antenna. 
and it is a little fragile but I just get my little screwdriver dude in here and just kind of barely have to pry it up and that's all it takes okay so I'm gonna go ahead and snip this my little snips snip this zip tie here Okay, I can't pull that out now. So I'm going to pull that out. And it kind of looks like a bridge rectifier a little bit. Set it aside. Set it on that rubber mat over there. And it looks like we have this little board that's on top here. And I'm not really on camera, am I? Back out a little bit. Okay, this little guy that's up here, that is the Wi-Fi module. This little screwdriver thing that I'm using came with the, uh, the setup. So we got a nut on it. What's going on with that guy? Oops, sorry. I'm going to take out. Well, let me do what I said to do first and go ahead and unplug everything. A little longer than a few minutes late. Okay, so that was easy. Pulled out all the plugs. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move to these four screws. Looks like there's two that hold this in, but I think there's a nut behind them. So let's go ahead and pull this out for now. There's also going to be some uh, software that you're going to have to deal with after you change this board. This board has uh, the phaser number and name basically attached to it. So when you put it into the system with the new board it's the number is probably going to match some other vest it'll say 12 and you already have a 12 out there that's working so you have to get into the uh, administration stuff on the computer and i'm not actually going to show that because of passwords and i don't want to be liable for anybody screwing up their stuff but it's in the manual and i'll show you where to find all that Basically, you just go in and you change the name and number of the phaser. Okay, so we're going to pull this guy out now. Should be free. Okay. And this come out of here. All right. And like I said, this is the Wi-Fi module. Let's see if it's... Yeah, it's got little nuts on the back. off of my little needle nose. Hate those things actually. Okay, well, I know I see my phone is running out of juice real fast. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove these nuts and then I'll wait until we get some charge and then we'll pull this Wi-Fi module off. Whenever we come back, that way you can see how to do it. But give me a few minutes to charge. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not sure why it's so dark in here. It was so bright in here the other day, and I don't have any more or any less lights. Kind of weird. Okay, so I moved the board over here, actually. So I pulled these screws out, uh, not a big deal really. And then this guy, same as the other one, just kind of wiggles free. And it's got six sets of legs. And they're, they're, the way they're lined up, as long as you remember that this little spot that has the Wi-Fi hookup is at the top, you'll get that in right. So those two boards are gonna come out. This is gonna go off to the side because like I said, I keep changing these parts but I don't know that they're actually bad. So I've just been saving them in a pile and either I'll try to fix them later on when I know more about them or I'll find out for sure from the company if they are bad. Now this is the new one and it is labeled, let's see if we can get that, PC1010PCB. Come on, focus in on, all right, there we go. Phaser main board PCB20. So if you have, you know the new kit you got a bunch of bags like this that's what the sticker will say and so do you believe it was like this yeah 
I'm just kind of lining it up with the screw holes over there. And you want to be kind of gentle with this because you don't want to bend any legs. I just kind of try to line it up one side at a time. Just get the legs in there and get it started. And come over here and we'll check that this side is good. There we go. I'm trying to get it in the light and on frame. This side does not want to, I think we're in a little too far on the other side. It's got to kind of go in at the same time. With this many legs, it's very easy to bend one. Okay, we got that guy sandwiched in there now. And we'll go with this little bridge rectifier dude. And same thing with this one. You can't screw it up because of the way the legs are pinned. So you're going to have this big side with more pins on the left over here. And it looks like mine are kind of uneven on this board. I hope that's not going to be an issue. Let's see how's the best way to show this. Uh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Let me look at this other board. Okay, this one has six and three. And this one has... The actual thing has six and four. So I guess this one pin is not going to go in, and I should just let the other six line it up that way. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. Let me see if I can put the light on a little better. Blow it out now. Okay, so here is the six. I am having a little trouble getting that in there with it. I don't know if you can see it. They are not flush with each other. And it is not liking that. <laughs> Might have to bend the legs a little bit to get it in there. Either that or I'm going to try to find a different board. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So on this side, the very bottom leg. There we go. There we go. The very, very bottom leg closest to you is not going in to the connector. Kind of odd. It seems like it's sitting a little higher off the board. And then we're going to take our zip tie and secure that in there. I guess that's in case they drop the phaser, which definitely happens. Maybe I need to zip tie some more stuff inside the buck hunter gun so I don't have to work on them once every two weeks. Okay. Get that on there nice and tight. Snip that off. Okay, so once again, the Wi-Fi module antenna part is gonna go up top. Go ahead and put these little sleeves in here. Well, I guess I, I can't hit the hole again. Having some issues. can hear Duncan Alien out there taunting me. Finally fixed it. I don't know if that video will be up before this one or not. Okay, so those are in. This is ready to go back in. And this is your, uh, this one that's going across here. Come on. Across the bottom here. That's your vibrator cable. You just want to make sure you don't get it up into where these screws are. Because um, you can pinch it and then you're going to have to change it. You also want to pull all your other connections kind of out so you don't pin them underneath. Which is easy to do. And the vibrator cable is trying to come out. Give me crap, vibrator. And the gun's trying to jump off the table on me too. Okay. So I'm going to stick my fat head in the way for a second. Line these suckers up. Okay, I think that was these long ones here. A couple of these to start off with. And 
that, this is pretty much it as far as the, the repair goes. Now, like I said, you have to get into the computer and assign it the proper vest name and vest number. Okay, I'm going to start over again. <laughs> um, I filmed a lot that I'm not going to use. It took me way too long to get these connectors in and out. So I, I'm not going to uh, include that. I had to go back and watch my own footage from this video, actually, to see kind of where these went. Um, I put this one right here that's actually the battery. I even said while I was plugging it into the wrong spot that I thought it was the battery, and then I plugged it into the wrong spot. So it goes the red one up at the top. I just want to make sure this is on camera because it, you cannot see good in any of my footage. Black one up here for the speaker. Um, the multicolored one here, red and black, and I can't see what other colors, blue, I think. No, not blue. That's going to go in the second from the top. Then the, uh, TRG, which I thought was target, but I'm not sure. I can't find this in the manual anywhere. I'm, I'm missing a manual. This goes to this little thing that's down here at the bottom. So I'm, I don't know if that's some kind of sensor to see that you're hitting a target. I'm not sure. I'll find out and let you know in the next video. Um, the key just goes to the key. The CHG charge or whatever, that's open. There's nothing in that one. And then the vibrator, we talked about that, goes right here. Um, so I just wanted to show that. And then there's a screw right here. Just go ahead and pop that screw out. You can pull this out, get it out of your way, and then just trace where the wiring goes. As long as you know where it's coming from and what label it's going to you'll be fine just took me a little extra time because i did not take that screw out and i was trying to film it on camera this is just the stupidest setup i've ever seen in my life i need to do a compilation of me getting pissed off at stupid stuff like that this thing is attached to the vest and there's no easy way to just disconnect it and work on it you just got to work on it all connected it's really smart their delta strike anyway this is done um, let's go ahead and just see real fast, make sure it all comes on, put a couple screws in it real fast just to hold it. And then I'm going to show you what to do or what I'm going to have to do on the computer. I don't have the manager password. I do. I just don't know where it is. It's written down somewhere in one of my notebooks and I can't find it. So it could it can this has been out of service for three or four days so it can wait a little bit longer I'm not too worried about it Let's see if I'm even on camera but I, I could not see on my footage at all where that the brown and blue wire went even though I was telling myself I, I'm pretty sure this is the uh battery okay so let's turn it on now when i originally did this the first time i tried this um i had to, had to go back in the video uh it did not come on and everything was fine uh what i had to do was plug it into the wall into the charger and let it charge for a minute and it came on after that and then i didn't have any problems so don't freak out just plug it into your wall charger okay and so it is coming on now but I, like i said i have plugged it in the name is no longer Spider-Man. It's Delta. And let's look at this now on the computer. Okay, it's only been three minutes or so. It's not, not as bad. Here, I'm going to have to raise this up because I can't see what I'm looking at. And that is awesomely in focus here. Okay, let's see... Okay, so over here, oh, you stupid thing. See where it says, there, there we go, Delta, and it says vest at number is five. Okay, if we come over here, let me find it on the list. Okay, Green Lantern down here at the bottom also says number five. So we have to go in to the settings with the manager password and stuff, change this name to Spider-Man or, or whatever you want to change it to. You know, you know, kick ass or some other 
Walking Dead character or something cool, then change this five to whatever number that you're missing from over here, which for me is 14, I do believe. Yeah, let's see 14 on there. So I, I'm changing it from five to 14 and from Delta to Spider-Man. But that would be the last step. And if I have to do that after the owner gets here and gives me the password and stuff again, that's fine. Here is the manual that you will use. It's really a, a, a shit manual for, for trying to do this. It doesn't give you really any information. There's no graphs on where anything goes. It refers you to a website here that has videos. This website either never existed or no longer existed. <clears throat> But here on page 71 is going to walk you through the steps of um, node conflicts and the IP addresses. And this is where you, it says where you have changed the main board and the phaser and um, that number has already been assigned. So that's exactly the problem we're having with there. And then for some reason after that <laughs> is it's replacing a charger cord. And then on, okay, on page 74 here is going to be replacing a phaser mainboard. And there's a few steps, but like I said, there's there's no graph. There's nothing to really help you. So hopefully this video will help you. There's, there's not anything else out there. Um, the only things that I saw were just people kind of showing off the equipment or, or trying to sell it. But that will wrap it up for this one. I got a bunch more I got to film tonight, so I'll see you guys in the next one. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted, and a pretty good deal on it, too. But if I didn't get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So, everyone... Please remember that, even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.